in the last video concerning line integrals and exact differentials, we had noted that for a function, say of x and y, in the uh, two-dimensional plane, the differential of the function can be expressed like this. And in general, we had written our line integrals in this form. And what we determined in the last video is that if the partial of p with respect to y is equal to the partial of q with respect to x, then this expression p dq plus q dy in fact is the differential of some function. And when that happens, that is called an exact differential. And we went over an example of an exact differential and a non-exact differential in the previous video. What we want to do in this video is consider a little bit further this notion of exact differentials and what it has to do with some of the properties of, um, of line integral. And to help us with that, we're going to refer back to an, an earlier video where we had been working with um, evaluating line integrals. And one of the problems that we worked was like this. we had this closed curve system. This was the equation. This here was y equals 1 fourth x squared. So here we were at the point 2, 1. And this at the point 0, 1. And we evaluated a line integral on this curve, then this horizontal line, then this vertical line. So we started here, went all the way around, and came back to our starting point. And we evaluated that circular line integral for this function. We went all the way around, it had a value of minus 1. Now, here's a question. If we evaluated the same line integral around a different closed curve system, could it come out to be equal to 0? So, for example, suppose we had something like this. Then perhaps for this kind of closed system, perhaps that might come out to equal 0. Or perhaps if we had something like this. And we evaluated this line integral around this kind of closed curve system. Could it come out to be equal to 0? And the answer to that question is, no, this can never equal 0. And again, we're taking a closed system. So we're starting at a particular point, And then we end up eventually at our, at our starting point. But this can never equal 0. And to see why, understand why, First, let's ask this question. Is this an exact differential? So this is p, and this is q. Take the partial of p with respect to y. That's x. Take the partial of q with respect to x. That's 0. So clearly, they're not equal to each other. Partial of p with respect to y does not equal the partial of q with respect to x. So this is not an exact differential. And we're saying that it can never be equal to 0, this line integral, regardless of what 
system of closed curves we evaluated around. And to understand that, we have to go back to our earlier video concerning Green's theorem in the plane. Remember, it was like this. A closed line integral. That equals the double integral of partial of q with respect to x minus the partial of p with respect to y dx dy. That's Green's theorem on the plane, and we had a couple of videos where we explained this general expression, and then we worked a couple of problems um, concerning specific examples of Green's theorem. But let's look at over here. We have the partial q with respect to x minus the partial of p with respect to y. Well, for this integral here, the partial of p with respect to y and the partial of q with respect to x are not equal, therefore this can never be zero. And if this can never be zero, then of course the line integral can never be zero. Now suppose we have an exact differential. In the last video, we had considered a specific problem. We had this. We had 2x plus 5y cubed x to the fourth dx. Then we had plus 3x to the fifth y squared dy. And this is an exact differential, so that means that here the partial of p with respect to y discovered that indeed that did equal the partial of q with respect to x. Well, let's go back to Green's theorem then. That means that these are equal, therefore this is zero. Therefore, this is zero. So if we have an exact differential, the closed line, our closed line integral that's always going to be zero. And it doesn't matter what set of curves we evaluate this around. So it could be like this. Or it could be like this. it's still going to be zero. Because these are equal, that's what determines exactness, as we saw in the previous video. Therefore, these are zero, so this double integral is always zero. By Green's theorem, then this is always zero. So it means then that if we have, if this is an exact differential, the closed integral is always zero, and it's entirely independent of the path length. And that kind of leads us then into the concept of conservative vector fields. And that's what we'll deal with in the future videos. Um, what we'll do in the next video is take a specific example of um, a, what we consider a, a conservative vector field. And then after that, we'll get into more of the theory of conservative vector fields. But really it all hinges upon this notion of exact differentials. And um, I guess that'll be it for this video then. The playlist for all the videos here in the vector analysis series is at the website. Um, right now the front page is still under construction, but the playlist is there and it's at the website digital-university.org.